Hey guys, um, I just wanted to bring you a little bit different of a video today. Uh, just kind of something that I wanted to share with you guys about um, things that are going on in my life right now um, that, or something big that's coming up in my life right now that I just wanted to share um, some things I've been reflecting on about it and things like that and something that might be helpful to some of you who are maybe are in the same boat. Maybe it's not exactly the same, but basically what I um, want to share with you is how I plan to make sure that 40 is fabulous. Um, I'm turning 40 on April 12th and while I I'm not bothered by it at all. Um, I still can't believe it either. Like it seems totally insane to me that I'm going to be 40 years old already. Um, but in saying that, there are some things that it has made me think of um, while not being upset. I'm not somebody who's like, oh my gosh, I'm turning 40 and like having some sort of breakdown over it. I, it doesn't bother me. Like what's your alternative to getting older? Being dead. So I'm cool with getting older. Um, so that part doesn't bother me. It does make me think of things though that I can do to ensure that my next 40 years are great. And um, so that's kind of what I wanted to come to you guys with today. Um, first off, first and foremost is I started a health and fitness journey a couple years ago that um, I've maintained for the most part, um, not maintained what I was doing as much as maintained my body for the most part where I got it to, but that wasn't where I wanted to end up. And so um, I started regularly exercising again and kind of um, tweaking a little bit of my eating habits again. Um, and I'm feeling fantastic. And it's just confirmation to me that that's what I need to be doing and that's what's good for me. And um, I'm starting to see great results already in my body just from I'm on like um, my, I just started like my fifth week of um, this workout challenge that I'm doing. It's a 12 week program and I love the results, the changes I'm seeing and um, it just makes me feel really good. It makes me feel strong and healthy and like more in control of myself. Um, and what I mean by that is I felt for a long time so um, just out of control of like my own body and my happiness and my, which a lot of that was connected. And um, so when I'm doing this for myself, I have this um, feeling like I'm taking control of the things that I can. I am not someone who like is a control freak. Um, I know ultimately we are not the ones in control, but there are some things we can be in control of it within our lives and your, how you take care of yourself is definitely one of them. So. Um, making sure that 40 is fabulous like this next year I'm just gonna keep busting it out like I have started doing again over these past few weeks um, and just get myself in the shape that I want to be and continue working out regularly and things like that because I just know how good it makes me feel and I have the best body I've had since I was probably 19 so um, I don't want to go for years again feeling that way I want to make sure that I'm taking care of myself now so that over these next 40 years, it's a habit I have created that I continue to do so that I can stay as able-bodied and healthy for as long as I can, as much as it's in my control. So that is the number one way I am going to make sure that 40 is fabulous. That's not the number one way, but that's the first one I'm talking about. The second one um, is taking care of my skin and things like that. I am a, I tan very well. And so I've never worried very much about um, sunscreen and things like that until probably the last year or two, I started getting more conscious of that. Um, I don't like the freckle, it's because they're not freckles, they're like sunspots that are on my body um, from all the years of being in the sun so much and things like that. And um, so that is something like I was not conscious of when I was younger because honestly, a lot of us, you don't think about that when you're younger, you feel there is a truth too that a lot of young people feel sort of invincible and um, you don't think like I'm going to get sun or you know skin cancer or I'm going to have age spots later from this or you know whatever it's going to age me and give me wrinkles and whatever you don't you're not thinking about that um, unfortunately at the time when you could be doing the most to ensure that you don't have those things later but um, so 
that's something, yeah, I came to it a little late in the game, but um, that's okay. At least I'm starting it now. And so I'm going to be much more, you know, conscious and cautious about um, the time I spend in the sun and making sure that I'm properly protected from that. And then also with my skincare as far as keeping my face washed, you know, um, using exfoliators and oils and good moisturizer and just taking care of myself. Um, also your teeth. That's a huge one. Um, I have always had fairly nice teeth um, as far as like not having a lot of issues with cavities or things like that. Um, I don't have a ton of discoloration. I don't love the color of my teeth, but it, they're not terrible because I drink a ton of coffee and tea. So um, they actually look pretty decent for <laughs> considering that. Um, but things that I wish I would have done better are um, I brush too hard and that's a very hard habit to break and it is wearing away at my gum line, which frightens me um, for the future <laughs> and um, flossing. I'm going to be honest, it's such a simple, easy thing to do, but it's like also a very simple, easy thing to not do. And so, um, you know, I'm seeing the effects of that as I'm getting older. So that's something I'm trying to be very cautious, um, not cautious, something I'm trying to be, I keep wanting to say cautious, but I don't really mean it. I'm very conscious of is taking good care of my teeth, um, making sure I always brush in the mornings. I don't always brush at night, um, but that's something I've been really trying to do and making sure that I floss at night. And um, just taking care of my teeth, trying not to brush so hard and wearing away at my gums because they don't come back. And so um, I don't want to have like where my teeth are falling out because I don't have good healthy gums holding them in. So um, strange to be saying that at 40, but that's, it's the truth. This is the stuff we need to be thinking about because it's going to affect later. Um, so that would be another thing. Um, just being thankful for being alive, just appreciating life. Um, just yesterday we got news of um, someone my husband used to work with, a friend who was 50, just turned 50, I believe. It's either 49 or just turned 50, I'm pretty sure. Um, who just died of a massive heart attack suddenly. And that's very... Um, eye-opening to you that it's somebody you know I mean yeah 10 years older but still just something that you know like that to see it, like so unexpected it makes you really think about life and how fleeting it is and that we really don't know how long we have and so while you can't live in a state of oh my gosh I could die any second I could die any day I have to make the most of every I mean you can't live like that we're not supposed to live like that but also I think a lot of time we don't enough think about like nothing, no day is guaranteed to us. Like nothing is promised to us as far as the time that we have. And so we do need to be more present minded about, um, you know, just how we spend our time, how we show love to people, making sure that people know we care about them. Um, just the kindness that we show to strangers, anything, just really think about what a gift this life is and um, what a privilege it is to live it and um, you know just to appreciate it. So I would say that truly is my number one thing that to make 40 fabulous I really want to be very present minded about how I'm living each day, how I'm loving my family, how I'm um, loving others, how I am representing Christ because that ultimately to me is the most important thing in this life. Aside from him, there's nothing. And um, I have that hope and that joy of heaven ahead of me. So I'm not afraid of the future as far as, you know, what's at the end of my life. What I'm concerned about is how I'm living the time between now and then. And um, just loving others like he wants us to, like he loves us like he's called us to do, sharing him with other people. Um, there's no greater gift you can share with someone than sharing with them who Jesus Christ is and what he's done for us and um, for each and every one of us and what that means for us when we um, love and accept him and um, you know just want to know him more and want to live the lives he's called us to live. So that to me is the most incredible joy um, 
that makes the fact that I get to turn 40, um, God willing, <laughs> April 12th, I still got a, a little over, a little over a week left. Um, but I just, I want to make sure that I'm living the life that I was called to live and that I, um, I'm just enjoying every part of it and turning 40 for a lot of people that's a very tough thing um, a lot of people do not handle it well um, and I've, I've never really been that way as far as ages but um, obviously I'm getting older and as you get older I think it gets a little tougher but honestly for me it doesn't I'm just so incredibly thankful that I've had these past you know 39 plus years and um, just all the things that I've gotten to experience during that time. A lot of heartache, a lot of heartache, to be honest. I've had some really rough things, and but I've had so many incredible joys, and I'm so thankful for that. And um, I think that's just what I wanted to express to you guys is um, I 40 will be fabulous for me because um, there's just no other way to live than things are going to happen to you. Things are coming to come along that, you know, knock you down and you just got to get back up. There's things that are going to hurt like heck and you just have to um, look at everything that there is around you and how um, blessed you are in so many ways and um, just every little experience. Truthfully, like the other day, these are the types of things like that... Um, that I just love like it was raining but it was like a light rain and it was windy and I opened my sliding glass door and I just stood with my head out the door and my eyes closed just letting like the wind and the rain hit me in the face and just the smell of it and it brings me so much joy and um I think that's why even through the hard things I can find so much joy because I find joy in like the most minute of things and that's not just exclusive to me anyone can have that it's a choice you make in life and um, it's a choice I have chosen to make because I was not always that way I used to be an extremely pessimistic negative person and um, I am a completely different person now and a lot of that is simply from making the choice to not be negative to find the joy in the most minute of things and so um i'm very thankful for that and thankful that um i get to experience things in a whole new way because i look for the joy i don't just wait for things to happen to me that i can be like oh yay this happened to me or oh this is fantastic no i find it <laughs> because it's there if you look for it you will find it um so yeah, you guys, I just wanted to share that with you. I am actually in no way upset that I'm turning 40. I'm actually just thankful to have gotten to this point and look forward to what's ahead. And um, my husband surprised me and the other day he told me he's taking me away for the weekend and he didn't tell me where we're going or what we're doing. He just told me I need some casual comfy clothes. I also need some dressy clothes, um, but I have no details. So you better believe I'll be sharing with you guys um, when I know what's going on. I'll probably do a vlog that shows different places we go or what's going on. So I'm super excited about that. Um, so yeah, I'm actually looking forward to 40 and what's ahead for me. And um, I just want to tell you, no matter what stage you're at in life, what age, anything like that, um, it is what you make it. And yes, there are things that happen to you that are out of your control and that downright suck, but we have to keep moving. That's what we were called to do. But God has not promised us that things will be easy, but he does promise that when we love and trust him, that ultimately everything will work out for our good and his glory. And I can't ask for more than that and I wouldn't dare to. Um, so I just hope that wherever you are, whatever stage of life you're in, if you're facing a milestone age and you're feeling a little nervous about it, I hope that you will think about some of these things, that they will be an encouragement to you. Take care of your body. Take care of your mind. Take care of um, others. That is a huge thing. And not to the point where you take care of others so much that you don't take care of yourself, because obviously that's not good. But I mean, give love to others. Give kindness to others. 
and um, just give joy to others. Sometimes we need that little kick that, I mean, there, I know one day I was um, at church and it was in the morning and this woman came up to me and she used to be my oldest son's kindergarten teacher. She walked up to me and she said, I just have to give you a hug. And she gave me a hug. Now, little does she know, I had just said the night before, which I ended up sending her a message and telling her this. Um, the night before I was hugging one of my sons and I said, oh, I think hugs are just the best thing in the world. Like they just make me so happy. They're just, I just think hugs are the greatest thing there is. And um, so I let her know that um, she just, for whatever reason, she just wanted to come and hug me and it was the greatest thing. So that gave me so much joy. And it's a reminder that the smallest of things, telling someone that they look nice that day or um, you know, anything like that, it can make such a huge difference in someone's life. You never know. So just always be kind, always be loving, and don't forget that life is fabulous no matter what age you are, no matter what age is over, you know, is coming up or on the horizon. Um, this life is what you make it. And I'm going to tell you right now, I'm going to make 40 real dang good. I'm going to make people jealous that they're not 40. Okay, probably not. <laughs> but I have a really positive attitude about it. And I just wanted to share that with you guys. And um, thank you so much for watching. Part of what is making things fabulous is you guys. I'm so thankful that I decided to jump in and start this channel. I have had such just an amazing um, time getting to know some of you. Um, there are some of you now that we speak outside of just the YouTube, you know, um, you know, comments and things like that. And um, I just, it's so cool. I'm creating friendships with people that I never would have known. And um, I'm so thankful for that. And it truthfully is kind of a little bit of a therapy to be able to come and talk to you guys sometimes. And um, it's fun to do makeup and chat with you. And it's fun to just, I just, I don't know. It's just fun to interact. And so I'm so thankful for that. And you guys are a big part of what is making um, 40 that much easier to deal with and that much more happy because I get to share it with you. And um, I'll be honest about all the, you know, wrinkles that I've got forming around my eyes and little spots that are forming on my face that didn't used to be there. And, you know, that stuff happens and I'm okay with it. Um, so yeah, thank you guys so much for being a part of this and basically you'll be celebrating 40 with me. So thank you for that. And um, I just look forward to seeing what this next year brings with you guys and just life in general. So thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you guys soon. I hope you have a great day. Bye.